My name is Yakmi Gomez. I'm Kenny's father. I'm very proud of him. I'm happy to be able to be a part of it because of my incarceration. Been out of his life for so long. It's not even fully done yet. I'm a vegan vegetarian for like 35 years. Really? No way. Yeah, I was real young when I became a vegetarian. Okay. In the 80s, the mid 80s, I, I became a vegetarian. I had been a vegetarian already 10 years. And I was incarcerated at that time. I was incarcerated in Attica Correctional Facility. That's in upstate New York. I'm glad to see that he was able to excel even though I was in, in his life. But I tried my best to be a part of his life by sending him letters or pictures or drawings or things like that. Just send little seeds that I would hope that he would water, you know, appreciate my type of art. And then maybe he'd look at it and think. That looks pretty sick. Or maybe I start an expression of his own and he'll take it to the next level. And sure enough, look, this is what's happening. I've been working on this for, you know, on these artworks and uh, doing paintings for, for a long time. And he, he was uh, like 17 when he made this one. Wow. So this is an old one. One of his early paintings. It's New York City right there. It's me there. You can see like the, I'm surrounded a little by darkness, but then... There's a little aura on me, though, as like I'm being protected. So I knew he had the potential already 20 years later, you know, so I'm very proud of him. I went to his art exhibition. It was so cool just watching people interact with his art and stuff mm -hmm. and to know that he done, did a piece that was blind doing it. That's what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. Ad adversity introduces man to himself. You know, we got to go through these things. Mm -hmm. This is what shows us what we're made of. But I use prison as a university of thinking. What was art for you at the time? Art was a way for me to like escape the darkness of prison. I feel like it comes from like this area and it's like when you water in it, it kind of like grows and grows and it rises inside you. It's like an energy that's dormant, innate within that, within inside us. But when we learn how to feed it through silence and meditation and breathing, it grows, you grow. Your inner spirit grows. Like Jesus said, the kingdom of God is within you. So I'm searching from within. And I had to do that while I was in prison because if the energy of the prison overtake me, then I would have just been a, a bad person, you know? And I, I didn't want to live that type of life no more. I had to let go of my ego. Ego is an acronym. E-G-O means e easing God out you start to realize that you realize that you are your own worst enemy. So I stopped blaming my society for the problems that I was going through my incarceration. And I learned that I was the one that was actually my own worst enemy. I realized that the revolution begins within. I had to change myself before I can try to change the world. I got sent to this place, uh, uh, um, the snake pit, which is a long-term key block. Or they, they send you there, like if you get in trouble, 23 hours a day, you know that. And when I was down there, there was this gentleman, he, his name was Culture, and he was like an Egyptologist. Started talking to me about it, like self-healing and things like that. And at the time, I had a, a tumor in my brain. I had a cyst in my brain because I, I was getting too many head injuries and I wasn't getting no medical attention. Um, when I, if I had problems, they wouldn't send me to the hospital. They'd just throw you in a cell leave you there for 48 hours. And after that, you know, you start complaining, you might have problems again, retaliation. I wouldn't be getting no medical attention and I was having bad concussions. Mm -hmm. And I ended up getting seizures because of that. What happens with our soul, it's an energy that cannot be killed. You can't kill energy. It's, you can only transform it. I was meditating every day for like an hour a day. And then after like three years, it's the type of discipline, you know, you have to do it every day, but you cultivate it. It's like you're, you're watering, you're watering it by meditating. And I got healed by a feminine energy in the universe. And I don't have see, um, seizures, epileptic seizures or nothing anymore. We uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you. We hope that more people will become receptive to my son's art. And I think it's wonderful, man. And it, it, the energy is going to touch you as soon as you... You see the art. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to see what the expression is about because it has just so many different meanings. And it's all beautiful. It's all, all positive. Something that can help you to grow spiritually, to make you feel better. Art is an expression that helps us to become one with ourselves, to be comfortable in 
your own expressions and to let other people see it and let other people see what how you express yourself. I think it's a wonderful thing what he's doing. We're alive. Mr. Cloud's crib is all fantastic artwork. <laughs> I feel like Scorsese, because I can't 